Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Thunder Namal and I welcome you to the channel. I created a new template for my videos and I figured I could just test it with a casual video this time around. Please do let me know what you think of the template in the comments down below because I really wanted to make it look nice for you guys. As for this video I'll talk about my banlist prediction for the May banlist and yes I think that the banlist will drop in May. As always I'll divide the video into sections. First we'll talk about the potential bans, then the limits, the semi limits and finally the unlimits. And in the end I'm gonna react to Mitchell Slaughter's banlist prediction. For those of you who are unfamiliar familiar with Mitchell Slaughter, he is either the purest Yu-Gi-Oh soul in the world or the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh troll in history. I'm leaning more toward the troll, but you can decide for yourself. Without further ado, let's get into the predictions. So first of all, let's talk about Artifact Sight. This card is almost single-handedly responsible for the fact that so many people are playing Eldritch and Loanderese. Think about it, if everyone is gonna sight lock you, then you might as well play a deck that can play around sight. So I believe hitting this card would make the format more fun for everyone, and it would lower the power level of monkey decks. You could also make an argument for hitting Dagda, but I believe Dagda is healthier for the game, as crazy as that might sound. Sight was in a game for such a long time, but it was never really a problem until Dagda arrived. And you could argue that the fact that you can pop Dagda with your DPE is the problem, but you can also do that with just a Needle Fiber. Your Needle Fiber can go into TG Wonder Magician on your opponent's turn and then destroy your Sight and that's pretty much the same combo as with DPE, but I still feel that Dagda gives artifacts much needed support and also you can use it to set Artifact Lancia, which is also a pretty good floodgate if I do say so myself. So basically hitting Sight would remove the no fun allowed part of the format, and hitting Dagda would make it so that you cannot search your Lancia, but you can still get Sight locked. So final verdict is Sight ban, Dagda to 3. Next up let's talk about Predeplant Verte Anaconda. This card is incredibly generic, incredibly popular and incredibly broken. But Konami is a business and I believe this card will still remain unlimited to sell the Alba structure decks. Same thing goes for DPE. DPE would be an ok engine without Verte, but with Verte just makes it incredibly powerful. But yet again we are moving into the fusion era of the TCG and I don't believe that DPE will get hit on the next ban list. And if DPE is not getting hit then Dragoon is not getting hit for sure. The fact that you can make Dragoon without even using Red Eyes Fusion now means that it will probably not get banned just in order to sell the structure decks. And besides, nobody is really playing Dragoon at the moment. Next potential hit is Mystic Mine. Now I do hate this card with a burning passion but I do not believe that it will get hit. If you think about the balance of the game you can just bounce it with Draco back and basically everyone is playing Draco back in their deck. But I don't see Mystic Mine selling any product so if Konami does decide to ban it I'll be really happy. But my final verdict is Mystic Mine stays a tree. Next up let's talk about Hulky Fibrex. Since the reprint of Hulk is announced I really don't think that it'll get banned. At least not on the following list. Solely due to the fact that Hulk helps so many rogue decks play their strategies I believe that it should remain unlimited. Now yes it does really limit card design and yes Konami has to ban almost every tuner just to keep Hulk off the list but I feel like banning at least Aurora Dawn for now should keep the game healthy enough. Speaking of Aurora Dawn even if you ban Hulk you could still do the Aurora Dawn combo even if a bit less generically. The card is inherently broken and the fact that you can special summon from the deck really just breaks the card even more. I believe if not for any other reason Aurora Dawn should get banned just to free up the card design space. Finally for our ban predictions let's talk about the barrier statue of storm winds. Even though I would love for this card to get banned I don't think that's gonna happen. Playing against it is unfun and I just wish to see any Flounderies hits, at least to lower the consistency of the already bricky deck if nothing else. Now let's go to the cards that can potentially go to one. First of all is Fusion Destiny and with the Verte staying I feel like putting Fusion Destiny to one could be a good option. But yet again I do not believe that that's gonna happen because you can search a Luber with Fusion Destiny. So if nothing else just to sell the Alba Structure deck I believe Fusion Destiny will remain a two. Next up is Harp Horror and I believe that it is time for Harp to return finally. Every ban list everyone is talking about Harp Horror and how it should return to one but it just never happens and even Engage came back before Harp. I believe that if Harp returns Orcus can finally be playable but I do not think it will be that amazing to play. The power level of the game has jumped incredibly high and I don't think that Orcus can compete anymore. But for all of you Orcus fans out there I really do hope that Harp comes back to one. Next up is Electromite and I don't think it's time yet. Yes it is not more powerful than Verte on Fibrex and yes Pendulum wasn't doing anything for the last few formats but I do firmly believe that you can unlimit other Pendulum related cards and still help out the deck while keeping Electromite banned for now. Next up is Colossus and I do believe that this card should never be unbanned ever ever ever. I would like to see Thunder Dragon being played, I really would, but I do not want to see Colossus jammed into every deck that can summon a Thunder from their hand.
banned. So I'm really sorry Tatsum, but I think that Colossus should still stay banned. Next card that could potentially come back to one is Blaster. Honestly, it would do nothing, please bring it back, we need some volcanic support, please, please, please. Why would Tempest get preferential treatment when Blaster is so much worse than Tempest? Next up we have Performable Monkey Board. Now I might be an idiot, but I don't see a reason why this card can't come back to one at least. I mean, sure, you can get free draws off of it, it completes your skills instantly, but Pendulum isn't doing anything as is. And if you put it to one, maybe it can do something interesting at least. And if not, you can just ban it on the next list, I don't think that it's gonna do anything too broken. So fingers crossed, monkey board to one. Now let's talk about the cards that can be semi-limited. Everyone is talking about the brave package, but honestly I don't see it getting semi-limited. It still sells, it's still relatively new and it works really well, with the new branded cards that are coming out. But then again, if they're gonna hit them, I guess right to two and enchantress to two would be perfect. Next up we can talk about astrograph and because we are not putting electromite to one Astrograph can certainly come back to two. This card is really crazy with Electromite, but without it, it's just a fine card. I feel like that it peeling off to one and then to two is a natural progression and that it's definitely gonna happen. Now for some more controversial picks, I do wish that T Shifter gets at least semi-limited. Not touching full on the reason the list seems really wrong to me. And I guess the least thing we could do is semi-limit shifter. I would prefer it to get banned, but I guess semi-limiting works too. Yes, when you get D shiftered against Fluon the Reese, it's gonna feel even worse than before, but then again it's gonna happen less, so I guess we can count that as a win at least. And now for some cards that can come back to 3. First of all, it's Salomon Great Circle. It came back to 2, Salomon Great isn't doing anything, and honestly I feel like at this point we can put Gazelle to 3 and Circle to 3 and the deck still wouldn't compete. I'm a really big fan of Salomon Greats, but I do not think that the deck is really good in the current meta at all. At least giving them Circle to 3 would make the deck that bit more playable, I guess. Next up is a Hero Lives, and this has been on the ban list I think only because of these old FTKs. But if it's doing nothing at 2, then at 3 it's not gonna do anything either. Yes, I'm well aware of the fact that his ult has some really broken combos, but no one's gonna play them. Everyone has been sticking like 10 to 12 hand traps into their decks, and against that amount of hand traps, his ult combos really aren't gonna do much. If they would, we would have seen it already. And since we are getting the new alleged hero support, I feel like putting a hero lives to 3 makes the most sense. Finally, I feel like we should put scapegoat to 3, this only helps the slow rogue decks, and it's really fine. The last time when this card was relevant was in trickstar format, and that was ages ago. And besides, Konami's printing way more link spammy cards that makes scapegoat almost obsolete. And for the final unlimit, I feel like plush fire should go directly to 3. It will do nothing, don't at me. It might just be me being dumb, but I really don't see what plush fire could do. I guess the best thing it could do is synergize somewhat well with trapeze magician, but that's about it. Or if I'm just being a big dingus, let me know down in the comments below why you think plush fire should never come back. That's it for my thoughts on the ban list. Which cards do you you think should be banned or unbanned. Also, if you're enjoying the video so far, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel because it really means a lot to me. Now without further ado, let's move into the most interesting part of the video and that's Mitchell Slaughter's ban list. This guy has the weirdest Yu-Gi-Oh opinions and I'm just so excited to see what he thinks every time. Okay, so these are I guess banned cards, sight, that's fine, Liralask Independent 19 kill. What's il what What's Liralask doing to anyone? I... Uh... Don't tell me, he, he's gonna unban the Starving Venom and the... the what's it called? The Tyrant Neptune. I mean, I, I kinda agree with that, but... I mean, it's already been solved, like they banned the Venom and the, the Neptune, it's fine. Nightingale does nothing, literally. Dark Dragoon, this is typical Mitchell Slaughter stuff. Hulk and Aurora Dawn. Okay, so we're banning both of these. <laughs> that's That's great. I mean, I guess, maybe he wants to unlimit the tuners, we'll see. Uh, Fusion Destiny banned? <laughs> sure. Yeah, I was wondering why there was no DP here, so yeah, use Poly to summon your DP. Um, Mystic Mind banned? Yeah, I, I have to agree, honestly. Harpy's Feather Storm? Um, well, I mean, to be fair, like, Harpy's Feather Storm is a pretty unfun card to play against and it's like searchable with trap trick and stuff but yeah i don't know okay yeah sure ban freaking fog blade why i just i'm, I'm just speechless like <laughs> this is this is like mitchell slaughter is literally the only person in the world who who looks at 
PKs, for instance, and says, yep, Fogblade broken, yep, no, no don't ban Bardiche, ban Fogblade, yeah, the, the other traps, no, no one cares, Fogblade too broken. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I, I really, really want to see the thought process behind banning the Fogblade. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay, so let's get into... Oh my god. <laughs> Limit everything. <laughs> okay. Uh, how many cards is this? Like, 50? <laughs> okay, let's see. Ash Blossom Limited. Yeah, that's standard. <laughs> Blaster Limited. Okay. It's scary. <laughs> Uh, Mitch Slaughter agrees with me, bring back Blaster. Dandelion to one, please, no, please, like we have so many token generators, please, no, no. Dandelion is not once per, per turn, like, give it, give it a once per turn, bring it back to one, nobody cares. <laughs> Doom King Pillar Drunk. No, every time a Mitchell Slaughter posts something on Zodiac, this is, this is, it's always, like, he's always complaining about zombies. He's, uh, watch it, watch it happens, he, he's gonna ban the zombie world as well, like, definitely. <laughs> okay, so, uh, wait, no, he didn't ban zombie world, strange. Okay, he's gonna put zombie world at one. Uh, let's see, Eldritch the Golden Lord, sure, it's a zombie, it goes to one. <laughs> Eldritch Golden Roller to one, Fiber Jar to one. Sh sure. Oh, <laughs> Flo and the Riz Empen, and Flo and the Riz now. <laughs> no. Bans now. Yes. <laughs> Grinder Golden to one. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. I need to calm down. Okay. Grinder Golden to one. Yeah. Sure. Nobody will care. Gem Knight FTK for the win. Sure, grinder. <laughs> okay. Magic Spectre Kieran. Well, actually, you know what? Like, Kieran could come back to one. I feel like. Honestly, I should have thought of that <laughs> before reacting to this. Like, Mitchell Slaughter is ahead of everyone by, by like, 50 years. Performable monkey board. Okay, now I'm scared. Now I'm scared because I also said that monkey board could come back to one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Drops his pets, his laps, his and rocks is the one. <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> limit, limit every prank. It. This, this genuinely looks like a ranked end joke. First, we ban all the tuners. Next, we we'll limit all the prank. It's. Oh, Redox to one to. I'm not sure about Redox. And Tidal to one, sure. And we're bringing back Link Cross. Because, yeah, we don't have enough token generators. Bring back Dandelion, bring back Link Cross. Uh, might as well bring back Gofu, too. <sighs> Danglong? I, I'm not sure about Danglong. It, uh, uh, no, Ip the World Chalice just this year. Okay, no, no, stop. Shockmaster, stop, stop. This is too much, stop. Flounder is in the magnificent map. <laughs> sure. Sure, and the unexplored wins to one. Uh, honestly, yeah, you know, make them break, please. <laughs> Graceful charity to one. Mirage of Nightmare to one. Pot of Greed to one. <laughs> oh my God, this is this is like he bans every card that he hates, and then he puts Graceful Charity in Pot of Greed and Mirage of Nightmare in Grass. Also Grass to one. Sure, because like 60 card decks with snow, that's that's never that that's always a good idea, sure. Oh also Dream Town to one. Yeah, sure. No, don't let Flounderies play at all. Infinite impermanence to one, of course, because because it costs more than five cents and it's a generic hand trap. Oh <laughs> this is shade brigandine. Okay, now I flip flop between thinking that this guy's crazy <laughs> and that he's a genius. Because like some of his hits make sense and then he goes ahead and, and puts Shade Brigand into one and bans Fogblade for for no reason. Uh, but it's I, I always have so much fun reading his posts, posts so I, I figured I could do a live react to one of those and <laughs> share my happiness with you guys. Okay, uh, let's see the semi-limits. Okay, so apparently we have semi-limits and non-limits on the same page. 
Astrograph to two, and, and and that's like <laughs> I said, I said Astrograph should go to two. So I guess, like I agree with Mitchell, like Gasto Emerald to two. No, seriously, now who cares? Like like Gasto Emerald to two, that's only good for for like FTK decks and some ridiculous combo decks. Like it's fine at one, whatever. Called by the Grave to two. <laughs> just to test if people will play it <laughs> and if it does nothing then it will come back to three sure copium <laughs> monster reborn to two that's that's actually pretty based but i don't think that'll ever happen it's like pot of greed the anime cards they just always remain at one i believe slash draw to two well i mean sure i guess I remember if there was an FTK with slash draw, but I mean, if I, I would have to check. I honestly don't know. Like, if there is an FTK, then no. But if there's no good FTK with it, sure. And now Cyber Jar to three. Yeah, yeah, of course, sure. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know. Like flip flop decks could be uh, something to to watch out for, but yeah, I don't think it'll get much play. Honestly, as long as uh, Fiber Jar is not in game. It would be fine. Bulb to one. Well, I mean, we did ban fiber, so so I guess bulb does nothing. But then again, the arrow mage link is still legal, so you can still summon it out of your deck, e even though it's a, a bit meh. But I mean, sure, jet synchron and all lion, of course, <laughs> of course. Yeah, sure. Bring back every broken tutor. Well, I mean, really, without fiber, who cares? I guess. Performage plush fire two three yes <laughs> yes Mitchell I agree Omega yeah, oh, I I am having doubts about this video <laughs> I'm agreeing so much with Mitchell okay terror top two three yeah sure sh sure no please don't please no just yeah sure we we, we hit <laughs> we hit PKs by banning their fog blades and limiting shade bringing in so <laughs> sure bring back terror top two one oh I called it. I told you Tyrant Neptune to one. Yatagarasu to one. Uh well Honestly like if if Yara came back to one you could play it in DDDs. You could use it as a target for what's it called? Small world. And then I guess you could search it off a of small world to, to close out some games when you don't have enough damage for game, but honestly I, I don't think anyone would ever play Yara. I mean if you have enough to, to Destroy your opponent's field and then attack them with Yara. You probably had game anyways, so whatever. Zodiac Rat Pier to three. Uh, uh, sure, I mean Rat Pier can come back to a thousand as long as we don't ha get Dryden and Broad Bull unbanned. So, so that's fine, I guess. And Starving Venom, of course, of course, told you. <laughs> he just wanted to play Starving Venom. <laughs> that's why he banned the Lyrilus. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Uh, I don't want this. I don't think that's great. Mirage Stalio, though, to three. I mean, sure, sure, it does nothing. I mean, you, you can't go Mirage Stalio and then go into access code, so I guess it's fine. A hero lives to three, I agree. Harpy's Feather Duster to three. Then <laughs> Heavy Storm to three. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, no, nobody gets to play trap cards. No, <laughs> it's not enough that, the, that you ban the fog blade. <laughs> yeah, you you ban the fog blades, then unlimit the duster and heavy storm, and then the format will be great. <laughs> okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I'll I hope I'll see you in the next video. I guess until then you can watch this one. I'll see you there. Bye. <laughs>